Hey guys, this is Haley, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I unpack my closet and my bathroom and just kind of how I organized it. So as you can see here, I am just trying to figure out where to put all of my clothes in my closet. I finally figured out that I want all my summer clothes on top and the winter clothes on the bottom. I do eventually later on replace my hangers with all black hangers as you'll see later on in the video, but for now I'm just using the hangers that I had at the time. And then I'm just organizing some bins with like underwear, socks, pajamas, all of that type of stuff. And I'm putting it on this shelf unit straight across here. And I do want to replace those bins with all black bins eventually. So here's just a quick overview of everything. This is when you first walk into the closet, what you would see, all of my bins, my dresses, and everything like that. And then we've got my summer clothes and my winter clothes straight to the left. Then I go ahead and tackle the majority of the bathroom. I'm just trying to unpack everything from boxes and bags and everything like that. It was a complete disaster and honestly, I was kind of stressing out. So I did place paper towel on the bottom of my drawers. Uh, just simply if there's any spills or anything, I didn't want it ruining the wood on the drawers. Uh, so I've done that in every one of my houses and it really works really well. So here I am just like organizing the drawers. I'll show you in detail later what I put everything and what's in everything. And then I just have this big like pantry thing that I'm also putting some stuff in. And then I got some of these really cute rugs that I'm just placing in my bathroom. And then underneath the sink, I'm just placing some paper towel and all of my cleaning stuff. And then I'm quickly cleaning the bathroom because it was all dirty just from unpacking and everything. So I just wanted to make it look all nice and pretty. So I'm gonna kind of show you the finished product of my bathroom. It's not completely finished. I have not put any decorations up or anything like that. It is very bare still, but I need to focus on just unpacking and organizing for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I've done. So these are the light fixtures that I have in my bathroom. And then there's just two mirrors over the sink and the vanity. And then over here, we just have our pink towel. The theme for my bathroom is kind of like a pink color. I'm gonna be bringing other colors in later, but uh, that's the hand towel. I just have some lotion. I've got some bar soap. I need to get one of those bar soap lifts, I think they're called. So basically, it just doesn't sit directly on the counter because it does make quite a bit of a mess. So I need to get one of those. Haven't done that yet. Uh, the first drawer in my bathroom is this. It's a little bit disorganized, uh, but it's been about a week since I actually organized it. But right here, I just have my hairbrush, my uh, liquid face wash, and my deodorizer wipes. Uh, this is my Loom deodorant. I've got a pair of scissors in here just to like cut tags off of things or anything else like that. I've got some face moisturizer that I never use because I'm really bad at moisturizing. Uh, I've got my toothpaste, toothbrush, and over here is like where my face wash stuff is. My face wash is currently in my shower because I just took a shower, uh, but normally I have my bar face wash here. My headband to keep the hair out of my face while I'm washing my face at night or in the morning. Uh, I've got a hair tie to keep my hair back, and then my tea tree oil, which I use for acne. Uh, over here I've got my retainer and a mouth guard that I still haven't used, but I really need to start using. Um, this is to clean my retainer. Uh, I've got some floss. These are all like flossers that I can use with my uh, permanent retainer and then actual flossers for the rest of my teeth. And then on the bottom drawer, I just got a bunch of random stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. So these are just like my tweezers, Q-tips, my sugar wax. These are the sticks for my sugar wax. Reusable wax strips, hair ties. Uh, these are all of my like bobby pins in there. And then I've got a couple little clear rubber bands down here. I've got my scrunchies here. This is a sea salt mist. It's like kind of like hairspray. And normally I make my own, but I had bought this to go on vacation. And then this is a travel sized dry shampoo. And then we've got nail clippers, nail files, just like different nail products down there. Then in the cupboard beneath the sink, nothing special. I need to get an organizer for this still, but I haven't decided what to use. But 
just got paper towel, glass cleaner. This is a uh, peroxide. I use this to clean uh, everything in the bathroom. And then my mouthwash because my mouthwash doesn't fit in the drawers. And then I've just got some rubber gloves for cleaning and a magic eraser. I've found that white stuff is really hard to keep clean. And I want to find a natural magic eraser. And I know I've seen some like solutions on Pinterest. So I'm going to look that up. But we had one here because the people who built our house left one for us. So I'm just using that until it runs out. So then after the sink, we have the vanity, which I absolutely love. I can just sit there and do my makeup. It has a mirror of its own and a light fixture. Um, underneath this, we do have a little stool thing. This is something I DIY'd. I did film myself DIYing it. I don't know if you guys want to see it. It was basically like a antique stool that we had just like laying around our house and I put this really fuzzy gray material on it and then I painted the legs gold. So that's what I used to sit at my vanity. And then in here is all of my makeup. So I don't own a ton of makeup. I am allergic to almost all makeup so I only wear it for like YouTube videos or if I'm leaving my house to like go to an event or something. So because of that, I have very limited stuff. I just have all my makeup brushes here. And then I have my concealer and my foundation. These are two new products for me. It's by Juice Beauty. And I'm trying them to see if I'm like less allergic to them because they're more natural. Uh, then I've got my beauty blender that I need to replace. I've got my Too Faced bronzer, which this is not a natural product. I definitely need to um, think about replacing that in the future. Uh, I've got my Tarte blush. I've got my Tarte eyeshadow. These are just some chapsticks. This one's just a sun protectant chapstick because I burn my lips every time I'm in the sun. And this is a tinted chapstick that I have. I also have a lipstick, but it's in my purse right now because I take it with me when I go places. And then I've got two, like, I think these are made in Wisconsin. They're like natural eyeshadows. I never use them, so I might be getting rid of them soon. But this is my set spray, which is basically what I put on after I do my makeup. Uh, these are just um, eye products, so eyebrow pen, uh, eyeliner, and mascara. I need to replace my mascara because this is not a natural product. Uh, and then this is just a pencil sharpener for my eyebrow pen. So yeah, that's my makeup. <laughs> I don't have very much. So underneath my sink, I forgot to show you guys, I do have this bath mat or bathroom rug, whatever you want to call it. And it's just this pink color. I got it from Target. It matches the towels that I have. So yeah, <laughs> I just thought I'd show you that. Over here is my, I don't know what it's called. It's like a pantry thing for towels. And uh, so up here I've got my extra towels. These do not match like this bathroom. I'm actually gonna be using them for my guest bathroom, but I have not finished that bathroom yet. So I'm just storing them here for now. And then down here I have my all of my like heat products I use on my hair. Uh, they're not products, but you know what I mean. There's a straightener, my curling wand, my hair dryer, and then this is a new one. I just got a curling iron and I'm really bad at using it, so I need to learn how to do that. Uh, down here I've got my glasses. I only have two glasses, but then I have an extra glasses case. I've got a hand mirror. Uh, this is just like a business card for a shampoo company. Uh, this is all of my jewelry. I don't own many much jewelry. I'm not a huge jewelry person. Um, I'm allergic to like all earrings, so I need to like get some really nice earrings that are like made out of a metal that I'm not allergic to because my skin is ultra sensitive. So down here we've got my travel little thing. This is what I use when I go on vacation or whatever and I put all of my toiletry products in here. This is my travel makeup container. If I'm bringing all of my makeup somewhere, I stick it all in here. Over here is my random products that I don't really know what else to do with. So this is arrowroot powder. I use this as dry shampoo. Um, I've got a hand sanitizer spray. I've got my dry shampoo, coconut oil. This is sunscreen. I've got an extra bar soap. I've got aloe in case I burn because I burn so easily. 
castor oil. So then I just got some witch hazel back here and then some Epsom salt. Uh, so that needs to be a little bit reorganized because as you can tell, it's kind of full <laughs> and I probably need a bigger basket. Uh, down here is stuff that I don't really use that often. It's like my essential oils. And then this is a bunch of like random travel supplies that I don't use a ton and then my extra q-tips so that's everything in this cabinet there is a shelf up here that i'm going to be using probably to store toilet paper but i have not put it up there yet so it's just empty for now so then over here we just have my toilet paper i've got this really cute basket that i got from tj maxx i think it was only like ten dollars and that's where I keep like all my feminine products and like things that I need to easily reach. And then over here is my garbage can. I got that from Walmart. So right across from there we have the shower and I just took a shower so the towel looks very wet because it is wet. Uh, but I got a pink towel again and a bath mat right outside of the shower and a shower curtain. This shower curtain is from TJ Maxx and I also have like an inside shower curtain that is pink as well and that's also from tj maxx so yeah that is everything in my bathroom i'm gonna go ahead and show you my master closet so basically you just turn this way and there is my master closet so my closet is kind of finished kind of not so i'll kind of just talk you through it but directly to the left we have this area, so up there is where I'm gonna keep my extra bags. Uh, that's the only bag I've unpacked so far. It's just like a backpack. And then here on top is all of my summer clothes. I don't own a lot of clothes. I'm kind of like trying to be more minimalist and just like get rid of things I don't wear and like only wear the things I have, if that makes sense. And then on this shelf here, I haven't decided exactly what to do. I do keep my keys and my wallet and my purse here, but I think my purse is in my car right now, so yeah. So down here I just have my hamper, and I keep that just right there because there's no clothes there. And then I've got extra hangers. These are my winter clothes that I have hanging up. So then when you look straight into the closet, this is what you see. It just has like all of these bins and then a hanging spot. So the bins up there, if I remember correctly, one of them is all my winter stuff. So like my hats, my gloves, and like anything that like scarves and stuff that I'm not gonna be using in the summer. And then I also have jeans that I only wear like if I'm really getting dirty, like working with animals outside or like something like that. And then in this bin, I have my swimming suits. So they kind of just flew all over. Over here, we've got my exercise stuff. And then right here I have, oh, <laughs> all of my shorts. Oh, actually, I also have my jeans in here. I have three pairs of jeans, but two of them don't fit me, so I need to replace them as well. Uh, in here are all my solid color shirts. And then down here is just like my underwear, my bras, my socks, and then my leggings, which some of my leggings are dirty because I wear them every single day that I'm not going somewhere. So down here are my pajamas. So I got my pajama shirts here, which are basically just oversized t-shirts, and then pajama pants and pajama shorts. These are all of my t-shirts. I realize I have an issue with gray, black, and blue things, so... <laughs> Yeah, I am not a very colorful person apparently. Next to that, I do have some dresses. So down on the bottom, this is where I have not uh, finished organized yet. I have my bathrobe, some sweatshirts, my belts, my winter jacket. So all of that stuff needs to go somewhere and I just haven't finished organizing yet. So some of them will go on these little hooks. So like my sweatshirts and my belts and maybe my bathrobe will go on these hooks up here. But then like my jackets, I think I'm gonna put in my laundry room because there's an entrance to the garage in my laundry room. So this basket still needs to be organized, but everything else is fairly organized. So that is my closet. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this different video. I found it fun because it motivated me to organize and clean my bathroom in my closet. So let me know if you guys want to see more of these like unpacking videos or organizing videos as I really enjoy them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon on a new video. Bye!